Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade 10s. It's still Mr. Tlajari here. Welcome to Back to Basics. What we are doing now, we are still looking at our statistical reasoning and we are attempting our November 2021 paper, right? Uh, now, let's look at this question. Now, we are saying the amount spent by 120 motorists at a KG petrol garage on a certain day were recorded as shown in this particular table. Now, they want us to write down what the interval that has the least number of motorists. So now when you look at this, now you can see that the number of motorists are going to be this one, right? Uh, now, starting from here, right? So which means it's 12, it's 38, it's 42, it's 20. So which means now the least it's going to be this one, right? And what is therefore going to be the interval? So the interval for the least number of motorists is going to be uh the 200 uh to what to 250, right? 200 to uh 250. Okay. Uh so now that's going to be that one. Let me just fix that. Yes. Uh it's going to be from 200 to 250. Now, if you can then look at the second question. Now the second question require us to you know uh to draw our histogram right and now how do we go about drawing our histogram now let's let me just take you through now for drawing the histogram firstly uh let me just draw our axis let me just make up my space here so that it can be you know uh, all right so and uh, this is going to be the one for our uh this one and you're going to have this side right and now from here, what is it that you're going to have? So now here you're going to start with what the first one is going to be the number uh, of what? Of motorists. This is going to be the number of motorists. And then now here, it's going to what? It's the amount spent. Here, this is going to be the amount spent. All right. So now let's see. So now, uh, for example, here we can use the scale of 25. So if you can say zero, this is 25. Uh, let's say 25, 50, uh, 75, right? Look at this, 75, 100, uh, 125. Uh, then this is going to be what? This is going to be 150. This is going to be uh, what? 175. This is going to be 200. And this is going to be two. Let's say this is 225. And then we are going to have 250, which is going to be the last one, right? Now, let's see. What is it then that you are going to use now from here? And then now from here, for an example, we can use the scale of what? Uh, we can use the, st the scale of five, right? If let's say here we use the scale of five, this is going to be uh, your five. Let me just make up my space here. This is going to be five, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, right? So this is 5, this is 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, uh, and your 40, right? You can have your 45 here, right? 45 somewhere here at the top. Now, so what is it then that you're going to uh, have after that? Then you're going to say, look, uh, for, for these ones, what is uh, the first thing that you're going to do? Then you're going to say, all right, now, uh, the first one, the the you what uh your scale. Remember, whenever you look, uh, you use your what whenever you are drawing our histogram, right? We are going to say starting from what starting from zero to fifty, right? Starting from zero to fifty, how many do you have? From zero to fifty, you have twelve, and twelve is somewhere here. So this is going to be twelve, right? Uh this is twelve. This is from zero to what? This is from zero to fifty, right? This is from zero to fifty. Look at my line, but yes, sure, surely you can see that. And now from 50 to 100, what is it that you're having from 50 to 100? You're having 38, right? From 50 to 100, it's 38. So, and your 38, it's somewhere here, right? Uh, it's somewhere here. And then now, uh, and from here, you also have this one up until, uh, right? Uh, this is from here. Yes. So that's going to be this one, right? So that's going to be your 38. And after 38, then you're going to have the, the longest one, which is going to be having, I think, 42, if I'm not mistaken. 
So the, this one is going to have 42. Let me just write it here, right? So this is 42. And then this is from what? This is the one from uh, 10 to 150 or 100 to 150, if I'm not mistaken, right? So that's going to be that one. Please excuse my graphs, uh, right? And then now from here, what else then are you having? Then you are having from uh, 150 to 200, which is going to be uh, around 20. So this is going to be around 20, right? So this is a 20 and then this is 200. Look at me. Look at me and my line. This is 20, right? Uh, this is going to be 200. And then the last one, it's going to what? Uh, from 200 to 250, it's going to be same as what? Uh, it's going to be same as your 8. And then your 8 is just below the 10, which means it's going to be uh, probably somewhere here. That's going to be that one. So basically, this is how we go about drawing our what? Drawing our histogram, right? And then uh, what is important is to also write that this is going to what? This is going to be a histogram. Oh, it's okay. Now, if you have space, uh, you are going to say the histogram of the number uh, of uh, motorists versus what? Uh, the amount spent. Oh, okay. So that's going to be firstly how you, you, you do that. Now, they want us here to identify uh, in which of the interval, uh, in which of the interval, right? So they want us to identify, to say now, in which of the interval, uh, which of the interval will have what? So they want us to identify from the interval where we are going to have the 30, uh, the 30th percentile. And whenever we are having the 30th percentile, what is it that you are going to have? So from the 30th percentile, then you are going to use our formula. Remember for percentiles, what formula we use, then this is going to be uh, same as, you know, this is going to be same as 30 uh, over 100. This is going to be multiplied by 120 right because they said uh here the total was 120 then you'll realize that this is going to be the 36th value all right again so this is going to be the 36th value and then now when you come back and then you say where are you going to find the 36th value right the 36th value it's uh when you say uh, uh you know 12 plus 38 right let's say for an example you say 12 plus 38 then you're going to find that this is 50 and 36, uh, you have 12, you have 50. The value that is going to be closer to what? To 36 is actually the 50. So which means it's going to be lie, a uh, lie between what? It's going to lie between 50 uh, and also what? 50 and also your hundreds. All right, again. So basically that's how, uh, that's where these particular values are going to lie. Now they want us to calculate the size of the angle that will represent the moral class of uh, in a pie chart. This one is almost easy because we know that pie chart is given by 360 degrees, right? So which means now we are going to say uh, the mode, the mode is what? The mode is 42, which means we are going to say 42, uh, 42 over what? This is going to be 42 over 120, then multiply by 360 degrees now. And then the angle that you are going to have, this is same as 126 degrees. How to get? So basically that's what you are going to have. Now, as soon as you have this, uh, then you are in a position to answer all these other questions, right? Hopefully, this now it's making sense. And thank you very much for watching.